Fox 66 News with Elena LaQuatra, meteorologist Tom DeVecchio, and Craig Smiley with sports. This is Fox 66 News Good Day Erie. It's Monday morning and a fire rips through a Girard church, reducing it to rubble. We'll take you to the scene of the devastating blaze. It's 8 a.m. Good day, Erie. I'm Eleanor LaQuatra. First today, a man is dead following a crash in Warren County. That story is new this morning on Fox. Pennsylvania State Police and Corey say it happened on Route 6, just west of Route 958, around 3 p.m. Sunday. Police say the motorcycle was eastbound when the driver crossed into the westbound lane and collided with a motorhome. The 57-year-old driver of the motorcycle is not being identified by police at this time. He was pronounced dead at the scene. The 73-year-old driver of the motorhome was taken to Corey Memorial Hospital for treatment of minor injuries. And a crash involving a pedestrian on a bicycle in Mill Creek Township has police looking for answers. It happens around 11 at night at the intersection of West 8th Street and Peninsula Drive. There's no word on how badly the pedestrian is injured or if any charges will be filed. Police are still investigating. More news coming up in just a minute, but first, meteorologist Tom DeVecchio has your Fox First forecast. Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Elena. We have a warm start to the day. Got some much needed rainfall over the weekend. And your first forecast is calling for uh, somewhat breezy conditions and partly cloudy skies. Uh, good uh, chance of some showers and storms as we head on into the afternoon as highs reach the middle 80s. Rest of the forecast coming up later in the show. Elena? Thank you, Tom. Now to continuing coverage this morning, a raging fire destroying a piece of history in Girard. The first call went out around 3.15 Sunday morning for a fire at the First Presbyterian Church. The crews on scene reported heavy smoke coming from the church, but within minutes, flames had taken over the entire building, forcing firefighters to retreat and battle the fire from the outside. As you can see, there was not much they could do to save this church. The flames were shooting several feet in the air. The cause of the fire remains under investigation. I'll work with the uh, Gerard Police Chief to see if we need to uh, make it a crime scene and, uh, and put surveillance on 24 hours until we get it figured out. Demolition crews were on site taking down any walls left standing that could have been a danger to the public. We're told that by noon on Sunday, a half a million gallons of water was used to put out the fire. In the meantime, Cambridge Springs firefighters were called to battle smoke and flames for a second time over the weekend. Fire crews extinguished a small fire in an unoccupied second floor apartment at 103 Wall Street. This building was also the scene of a fire earlier this month, July 2nd. While the apartment was not occupied, the one above it was. That apartment did sustain smoke and water damage, so three residents had to be relocated with the aid of the Red Cross. And due to the circumstances of this fire, a state police fire marshal was called in to determine a cause. A pickup truck crash on Interstate 90 over the weekend sends two people to the hospital. The crash happening about 1 in the afternoon Sunday on Interstate 90 at mile marker 3. Police say a pickup truck rolled over onto the median for some unknown reason. The two occupants of the truck were taken to an Erie hospital for treatment. And a single vehicle crash leaves police looking for the driver. The accident happening on Route 18 at Wiseman Road, south of Conyotville, about 5.30 Sunday morning. Firefighters arrived to find a car off the roadway with major damage, but no driver in sight. It appears the car rolled over at least once. State police are investigating the circumstances surrounding this suspicious crash. Now we get to turn to some good news. A little rain didn't stop thousands of people from coming into Erie to enjoy Roar on the Shore and Bike Fest. There were several rides planned for the region, but at the hub in Perry Square, Jason Britton and his No Limit Stun Show was wowing the crowd over the weekend. And that was just the start, with some big bands taking the stage in Perry Square. Now, we still don't know the final numbers just yet, but during Bike Fest and Roar, Erie's population nearly triples. Quite a lot of people there. Dozens of rowers turned out for the first ever oars on the shore poker run. Participants in canoes, kayaks, and paddle boats made their way around Edinburgh Lake, stopping at five different spots to collect a playing card. At the end, the boats holding the best poker hands wins. Prizes donated by local businesses.
We anticipate it being an annual event from here on out. As I said, Millennium Sound is great with us. They help us with fundraisers, which helps support families in our community that are struggling and in need of some help and resources and support. So we are greatly appreciative for that. The event raised funds for the Borough Women and Family Services, which is funded by donations from Edinburgh area businesses, fundraisers, and some individuals. And a little rain couldn't put a damper on a big project that's taking shape in Green Township. Dozens of volunteers showed up to help with the construction of this massive playground. It's surely going to be a huge asset in the community. In addition to numerous residents, several contractors and businesses also sent in some help and heavy equipment to assist. Even the U.S. Navy sent some sailors to pitch in. And here at JET, we sent our very own Dan Rupp. That's him trying his hand at carpentry. We've had a lot of volunteers come on out from the community. Uh, we've also had uh, different contractors bring in crews. We had you know, the Navy donate some uh, people to come on out. Uh, we've also had uh, we, some people from Home Depot and Sheets. We've had people from uh, a lot of different areas and different companies come on out. The Parks and Recreation Committee hopes to have the ADA Accessible Playground open in time for the National Night Out on August 7th. And we are off to Northwestern Welding and Machine in Lake City this week. As David Belmondo explains, each part that comes from this business is made in America, made right here. Kevin Cashdollar and his dad started Northwestern Welding and Machine 40 years ago. The business has grown since then. Now 25 employees work here. It's a business that specializes in rubber mixer dust seals. There has to be a seal on the rotors to contain the rubber in the machine as it's being mixed. And that's what we make. But the manufacturing doesn't stop there. Northwestern Welding and Machine does work for the oil and gas industry. These parts have to perform under extreme high pressures and environments and involves machining exotic nickel alloys. Those materials are extremely difficult to machine, but they hold up in extreme service environments because those applications obviously are the most dangerous applications in the oil and gas industry and the high pressure industry itself. Um, so quality plays a huge role in that. And this is one workforce that knows the importance of quality control. We probably machine some of the best quality parts in the area. Uh, that's what we hang our hat on is our quality. And when it comes to made in America, I, I don't think that there's a country in the world that makes the quality of equipment that the United States makes. Made in America, Made Right Here is presented by Channel Lock. To nominate a local business you'd like to see featured, click on the news tab at yourerie.com. The Erie Police Department is kicking off this year's Police Athletic League Summer Camp. And this year, the week-long summer camp is expanding, including more children and staff. 140 kids will participate, which is up from 60 last year, more than doubled there. And partners from multiple law enforcement agencies, as well as Gannon University, will offer sporting activities and life coaching. The camp runs through Friday. The time now is 8.08, and it's a trip back in time. Coming up on Good Day Erie, hundreds of people were celebrating Waterford and the borough's history. We'll take you there and check out some other events taking place over the weekend. This is Fox 66 News Good Day Erie. Get your news and get to bed on Fox 66 News, first at 10. This summer, Toyota has 0% APR financing on many models, including the sporty CHR, stylish Corollas, including the IM hatch, and adventure-ready RAV4s. See your Toyota dealer today. Toyota, let's go places. Safety makes a seven-passenger Mitsubishi Outlander a family-friendly choice. The 2018 Outlander is a top safety pick plus, and it comes with a rear-view camera, seven airbags, and a 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. It's designed to keep you safe and financially sound and only $19,988. Meet the family-friendly Outlander at Interstate Mitsubishi, one-half mile south of the Mill Creek Mall on Route 99. 
When compassion, strength, and guidance are needed most, it's a comfort to know that your family can rely on Duskus Taylor. Funeral service options available to meet your specific wishes and made affordable to every family's budget. All of this offered to you at our premier facility, nestled in a peaceful and park-like setting in beautiful Harbor Creek Township. Tradition, affordability, and a heritage of compassionate service. Duskus Taylor Funeral Home and Cremation Services. Toyota has big summer savings through July 31st with $750 cash back on off-road ready forerunners, $1750 on Siennas with seating for up to eight, and up to $2,000 on full-size Tundras. Toyota, let's go places. Are you and your child having trouble with discipline? Is your child displaying out of control behavior or anger issues at home or at school? We're here to help. At Sarah Reed Children's Center, we help you deal with these issues before it's too late. Don't think you're alone. Call today. From your weather authority, here's meteorologist Tom DeVecchio. Checking things out on our SkyCam, uh, we're looking at the airport, the Jamestown Mattress SkyCam. Uh, we're looking at some uh, not too bad of a start to the day. Uh, those high clouds are not rain clouds, and at least not for the time being. If you have any plans, outdoor plans, you may want to get them done by midday. Storm tracker showing a lot of activity toward the, the west here. State College uh, radar is showing us some pretty good showers and storms. Again, well to the east of Bradford and St. Mary's for now, but we do expect those to gradually move westward. We're seeing a little bit coming up here near Punxsutawney, so uh, that could be getting into the mountains sometime around midday or the higher elevations here toward the east. Temperature right now 72 in Erie. Inland spots upper 60s to near 70 degrees. Dew points are up there. They're in the mid and getting into the upper 60s now, so uh, we're going to have a decent amount of moisture. We already had uh, close to an inch of rain over the weekend. Much needed rain, by the way. And uh, we're looking at another steady stream of Atlantic moisture. It's riding right up through the Carolinas. Now, the big, high flooding rains will probably stay to our east, but we could get some pretty good downpours because that flow uh, will give some much needed rain. You can see wet weather will continue right on through Wednesday before things start to taper off toward the end of the week. So humid for today, some scattered showers and storms developing the eastern higher elevations around midday, and some will pass through Erie and Crawford County during the afternoon. Temperatures will be in the mid-80s, not expecting severe, but some good downpours and an occasional gusty wind as possible, some of these storms. Threat of those storms will continue into the evening, then they'll die out later on tonight. Mid-60s, and the inland sections lows in the lower 70s here in Erie. For tomorrow, a lot like today, partly cloudy skies with some mainly scattered afternoon showers and storms. A little cloudier, so temperatures uh, may not be quite as warm, but still lower 80s, a good possibility. A front finally goes through on Wednesday, bringing some showers and storms mainly in the morning, but some uh, isolated showers still possible Thursday into Friday. Get the latest updates of that forecast anytime. Head to our website, yourerie.com. Thank you, Tom. And many of the region's municipalities are dealing with vandalism and troublemakers in parks. But one Titusville resident is taking on the challenge personally. His name is Jimmy Gianti. He's a Titusville resident, and he has stepped up to raise funds to get security cameras in Robert Grove Park. The initial goal is just for the security cameras to kind of protect investments and secure the park. And then hopefully any funds we raise in excess of that will be used towards other goals. The Greater Titusville Development Foundation has offered a dollar for dollar match towards the purchase of the security cameras. It was a fun Sunday night for local country music fans. Jake Owens' Life's What You Make It tour finally came to Erie. And the tour was supposed to stop in Erie on June 2nd, but it had to be moved to last night instead due to some inclement weather. The tour worked with the Sea Wolves organization so they wouldn't miss out on the opportunity to entertain fans here in Erie. Fans that had tickets from June 2nd were relieved to finally see their idol in real life. Chris Jansen, Jordan Davis, and former The Voice contestant Angie Kielhauer were also a part of the tour. It's been literally like an American fairy tale. Um, Jake even brought me on stage a couple nights ago and I got to play during his set. It has been just the most wild party I've ever been a part of. I'm telling you, I have never seen a show with this much energy ever. 
Organizers told us that even if it had rained, they wouldn't have canceled the concert. A local retailer goes the extra mile to accommodate shoppers dealing with autism. Boscov's opened an hour early on Saturday morning for a sensory-friendly hour of shopping. Lights were turned down, fitting room buzzers were deactivated, and there was no music playing in the store. Organizers say sensory-friendly sensory events like this are greatly needed for families with loved ones on the autism spectrum. It's vital for the community to offer something like this. My son has autism and he's 19 now and boy do I wish somebody had something like this for us back in the day. Um, we would go into a store and if a fitting room buzzer went off, that was the end of the trip. Boscovs tell us, tells us that they will continue to hold special needs events. This weekend marked the annual celebration of Waterford Days, Waterford Heritage Days, and there were quite a few fun things going on, a parade, encampments of historical reenactors, and free music. The sassy lady, a Ford Crown Victoria, won best in show at the car cruise featuring antique cars. Proceeds from the festival go toward the upkeep of buildings owned by the Fort LaBeouf Historical Society. This is a big deal for the community. Everybody gets together and, you know, um, you see people you don't see all year long and the booster groups have their opportunity to make a little bit of money so that they can do their uh, school trips. And 50 teens tee off at the Union City Country Club. It's all to raise money for some furry friends. You may not have heard the Canine Partners program, but that's because they work solely with other shelters in the area. They train dogs labeled unadoptable so that one day they can be adopted. So many dogs have very small issues compared to the overall spectrum, and but they're just absolutely not adoptable because of that small issue. We bring them in, we work with them, figure out what is their trigger, and we help them overcome it, and they become absolutely wonderful family pets. To date, the Canine Partners Program has trained hundreds of dogs who've become adoptable. Oh, nice. How could a dog not be a dog? I know, that's just not true. Not Our true. time now is 816, uh, 8, 16, now 817. The current temperature is 72. Cuba on for today. Watch for those storms. More details later in the show. Also coming up on Good Day Erie, some local ladies are taking you back to the 40s. And they have an opportunity to share their music with the world, but they need your help. We'll explain when we come back. So we're going to be talking about cars today. Cool. If you were building the perfect car, which three features here would you choose? I want a reliable car. Safety. <laughs> Got to think about the babies. Fuel efficiency. All in one car, right? Could you do that? Actually, you can. Whoa. 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 This is the Chevy Malibu. Wow. That's nice. Current qualified competitive lessees can get this. Chevy Malibu for around $199 a month. Or get $1,750 cash allowance on most Malibu models when you purchase. See your Northwest PA Chevy dealers. Get in yeah. there. Oh, yeah, sure. Because, you know what? It's all about energy. You're so right. Yeah. It's like, it's so true. You know what I mean? You got it. The moment you realize a good backyard party requires a good backyard. At Lowe's, we have everything you need to create the outdoor space you've always wanted. All projects have a starting point. Start with Lowe's. Shop Lowe's and get three bags of state green garden soil for just $9. I think when people are getting a Catholic education, it's important that they feel welcome. They feel like their opinions matter when they're talking in class. I mean, you feel like you're at home. It's a family. And when you go there every day, you know you're going to learn something. Kindness is one of the things that, in the world, you want sometimes. Everyone's engaged in helping you and making you a better person. I just kind of love how, like, everybody just kind of becomes one big family. Tuition grants are now available for new families. Receive up to $2,000 now through August 17th. From your weather authority, here's meteorologist Tom DeVecchio. 
We're at the Channel Lock Sky Cam here in Conneaut Lake, uh, where we do have some partly cloudy skies right now. Nice start to the day. Uh, not many boats on the lake right now, but uh, perhaps that will change later on in the morning. We do have a fairly warm, relatively humid start to the day. And dry for the time being. May not last, though, for the afternoon, so you may want to get that boat out this morning or uh, perhaps midday. Ladies and our storm tracker, here's State College. That's the radar, main radar we're using here. And you can see some showers, some embedded thunderstorms slowly moving toward the north, but there's also a bit of a westerly component there. And a little bit coming up now in the Punxsutawney. That's all going to move into the higher elevations out toward Warren and McKean counties, Forest counties over the next couple of hours here. And eventually get into our neck of the woods probably during the afternoon. So get ready for a little unsettledness later on in the day. But for now, not too bad. 72 in Erie. Inland spots in the middle to upper 60s. Dew points are up there uh, also in the mid to upper 60s. So we have a lot of moisture in there. And the trigger is enough to move those showers and storms. Again, around uh, early afternoon, uh, midday or afternoon, they'll be in the east and move through uh, the Erie and Meadville areas during the uh, afternoon and even early evening hours. Some uh, storms could still be around before they diminish later on tonight. And then uh, here comes round two for tomorrow. Almost the same as today. Showers eventually uh, coming into the region during the afternoon and evening hours. Not expecting severe, but some of the storms uh, could have some really good downpours. Then the frontal system finally moves through on Wednesday and uh, hopefully calm things down for the end of the week. Today, though, partly sunny for now. Scattered showers and some thunderstorms for the afternoon. Highs in the lower to mid-80s. That threat will continue through the evening before calming down. Partly sunny tomorrow. Again, some afternoon showers and storms. Highs in the lower 80s and still humid. More showers and storms at times into Wednesday, especially in morning and midday. And then uh, we'll have a chance of a few leftover showers for Thursday into Friday. And now our trivia question. Trivia question, question of the day, okay? This is my air again, Elena. I have uh. to because, well, it's my question. <laughs> uh, Chuck Barris hosted this show in the 1970s. These are okay. four, four great shows. Uh, oh. Hollywood Squares, Match Game, Password, or The Gong Show? Oh. The answer coming up within the half hour. Oh, Give it your be best tough. guess. Okay, I'll do my best. Mm -hmm. Time now to show you the results for daily your Erie.com poll question. We asked, are you prepared for a severe weather emergency? Here are the results. 40% said, I'm prepared for the most part. By the third of you said, you could prepare a little bit more. 14% said, I'm not prepared at all. And 13% of you said, you're always prepared. Mm -hmm. And now it's time to meet the cutest pet of the week. That's thanks to our friends at Country Fair. Michael sent us this picture of his dog, Mackenzie. Mackenzie <laughs> likes to hide under the coffee table anytime we come into the room. Very oh. nice. Look at him squeezing under Love there. Husky so too. cute. Yeah. You can upload a picture of your pet on our website, yourerie.com. You'll find the link on our contest page. Now. This is important information. Slow and steady is the key to winning the World Snail Racing Championships, in case you wondered. Keyword on slow. Now, <laughs> more than 150 slugs competed in the annual event Saturday. The race takes part on a tabletop. It starts when the organizer yells, ready, steady, slow. Huh. Snails then have to make their way to the furthest circle on the table to win. Oh, man. And the winner receives, get this, a cup of lettuce leaves. Oh, can't go wrong. The event has been around since the 1960s. That's it. Not even travel costs to get these things. There's one. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Oh, so Haul slow. it, baby. Haul it. But it's got a nice crowd. Kids like so it. So funny. Kids like it. In entertainment news today, a pair of sequels headed to the theaters this weekend, but only one came out on top of the box office. Rick Jim Damagella has the countdown. The Underminers escaped. We'll have to stop it from oh, the monorail. Disney Pixar's Incredibles 2 dropped one position this week to fifth place on ticket sales of $11.5 million. Ant-Man and the Wasp fell two spots with a $16.1 million weekend, while Hotel Transylvania 3 Summer Vacation dropped from first into third with $23.2 million. Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again mirrored the original movie by opening in second place while still outperforming it. Mamma Mia opened to over $27 million in 2008, but Here We Go Again debuted this weekend to $34.4 million. 
He knocked on the wrong door tonight, Pops. It was a similar story for The Equalizer 2. Denzel Washington's first sequel bowed in first place with $35.8 million, just over a million and a half higher than the original. In Hollywood, I'm Rick Damagella. This year's edition of San Diego Comic-Con took, took place over the weekend. There were some big reveals and surprises from the biggest pop culture event of the year. Warner Brothers used the event to give fans a preview of Aquaman, the next movie in the DC Extended Universe franchise. Aquaman swims onto movie screens on the first day of winter, oddly enough, December 21st. <laughs> the upcoming fourth season of The CW Supergirl will feature TV's first transgender superhero. Trans actress Nicole Maines will play the character Dreamer. Supergirl returns in October. And that brings us to today's poll question. It's all about superheroes. Who do you root for in comic book and superhero movies? That question will be posted all day. Log on to yourury.com and vote. And be sure you tune in tomorrow to see how your answer compares with everyone else. And Comic-Con featured the surprise announcement of a new season of Star Wars The Clone Wars. The animated series ran from 2008 to 2013. The 12-episode continuation will air on Disney's streaming service, expected to launch next year. Universal unveiled the first footage of Glass, the follow-up to Unbreakable and Split. The movie stars Bruce Willis, Samuel L. Jackson, and James McAvoy in their roles from the previous movies. Glass hits theaters on January 18th. And next year marks the 75th anniversary of the D-Day invasion of Normandy. A trio of local singers who performed the music of the 1940s have been invited to participate in the historic event in France. But they need your help. They sure do. Lou Baxter has their musical story for you. They are the Everly Sisters, performing the popular music of the World War II era. These young ladies from Erie began their career in a local church play. We sang in that play under the name of the Everly Sisters, and the play, of course, took place in the 1940s. A video of that performance hit the Internet, and the rest is history. I got a phone call from someone in Indiana putting on an event, and they needed a USO group because theirs had dropped out. Bravely, with just one song in their repertoire, they agreed to the game and launched a musical journey. It starts with rehearsal in the living room and ends on stage. The Everly sisters are actually two sisters and a good friend, none of them named Everly, who prefer the music of the big band era. We also grew up listening to this kind of music, uh, Frank Sinatra, Bing Crosby, Andrew Sisters, like all that sort of thing, and we grew up watching old movies, so we've always been drawn to that sort of thing. It's hoped a new music video and GoFundMe campaign will help these local entertainers get to their dream performance, an invitation to play Camp Arizona in Normandy, France next year. What makes the event so special to us is we get to meet veterans, we get to meet people that actually, you know, experienced World War II, lived through it. And thanks to Erie's Everly Sisters, they're keeping alive the patriotic spirit, sacrifice, valor, and music of America's greatest generation. Lou Baxter, Fox 66 News. To watch the entire Everly Sisters music video and learn more about their fundraising effort, you can head to our Facebook page or our website, yourerie.com. And straight ahead at 8.30 on Good Day Erie, the community is coming together to give back to local kids. We'll show you how. And unsettled weekend weather continues today more later in the show caregivers are you and the person you care for not satisfied with your current home care company are you not being paid weekly or receiving time and a half pay if not it's time for a change excel home care offers great weekly pay medical benefits pto and time and a half excel home care offers exceptional home care services choose a home care company that cares for both you and your client call excel home care
So we're going to be talking about cars today. Cool. If you were building the perfect car, which three features here would you choose? I want a reliable car. Safety. Got to think about the babies. Fuel efficiency. All-in-one car, right? Could you do that? Actually, you can. Whoa. This is the Chevy Malibu. Wow. That's nice. Current qualified competitive lessees can get this Chevy Malibu for around $199 a month or get $1,750 cash allowance on most Malibu models when you purchase. See your Northwest PA Chevy dealers. Erie's favorite lunchtime music series is back and better than ever. Highmark Midday Art Break, Wednesdays now through August 29th. Join us on the Dana and Pete Zafiris Family Patio on East 5th Street every Wednesday noon till 1. Grab lunch at the Whole Foods Co-op Cafe and Bakery and enjoy museum tours with Pay What You Wish admission. The Big Bang Theory is number one. I thought I'd let Harry Potter make things hotter. The Big Bang Theory. Weeknights at 7 on Fox 66. Fox 66 News with Elena LaQuatra, meteorologist Tom DeVecchio, and Craig Smiley with sports. This is Fox 66 News. Good day, Erie. It's Monday morning and fire rips through an iconic church in Girard. We'll take you to that scene and we hear from some local residents. It's 8.30 a.m. Good day, Erie. I'm Elena LaQuatra. First on Fox, a man is dead following a motorcycle crash in Warren County. It's new this morning. Pennsylvania State Police and Corey say it happened on Route 6, just west of Route 958 around 3 in the afternoon Sunday. Police say the motorcycle was eastbound when the driver crossed into the westbound lane and collided with a motorhome. The 57-year-old driver of the motorcycle is not being identified by police at this time. He was pronounced dead at the scene. The 73-year-old driver of the motorhome was taken to Corey Memorial Hospital for treatment of minor injuries. And a crash involving a pedestrian on a bicycle in Mill Creek Township has police looking for answers. It happened around 11 p.m. at the intersection of West 8th Street and Peninsula Drive. There's no word on how badly the pedestrian is injured or if any charges will be filed. Police are still investigating. More news coming up in just a minute, but first, meteorologist Tom DeVecchio has your Fox First forecast and a bit of a wet one for the day. Especially later on, Elena. Right now, though, not too bad. A little humid out there. There's certainly a lot of moisture in the air, uh, but eventually we'll see some of that moisture turn into rainfall for the afternoon. First in the eastern, higher elevations around midday and probably passing through the Erie region during the afternoon hours. High temperatures reaching the mid 80s before the rain starts. The rest of the forecast coming up later in the show. Thank you, Tom. Now to continuing coverage this morning. The devastating fire at a church in Girard. The first call went out around 3.15 Sunday morning for a fire at the First Presbyterian Church. A staple in the community, the first crews on scene reported heavy smoke coming from the church, but within minutes, you can see the flames had completely taken over the entire building. This forced firefighters to retreat and battle the fire from the outside. And you saw in that video there, flames were shooting several feet in the air. At that point, not much the firefighters could do to try to save the building. The cause of the fire remains under investigation. I'll work with the uh, Gerard Police Chief to see if we need to uh, make it a crime scene and, uh, and put surveillance on 24 hours until we get it figured out. Instead of attending Sunday Mass inside the church, parishioners stood outside watching in disbelief. And we traveled to the scene, talked to those hit hardest by the fire. Behind the yellow caution tape and amid the rubble lies more than a century of memories. Though the First Presbyterian Church in Girard only has about 100 members, it was filled with rich history for many. Jerry Bender lives kitty corner to the church. Just heard all the sirens and looked out the window and seen the big fire. Her back window view was filled with those memories. Reverend Darling's the one that married us. Jerry and her husband Robert married in the church on July 17th of 1971, just days ago celebrating their 47th anniversary. She stayed up all night watching the flames collapse, the seemingly sturdy brick structure. And I texted her and I said, you know, how bad is it? She said, I can feel the heat. And I thought, well, it's a brick building. It can't be that bad. And then when she showed me the, the I said, oh my gosh, it's terrible. Now the flames and the heat from those flames was so intense. I want to show you the building that sits next to the church about 100 feet away. The siding is completely warped. The Girard Fire Chief, Jeff Gadley, saying the heat was so intense, it forced his crew to evacuate. 
Gadley, also married in the church in 1989. He spent Sunday fighting the flames that were burning cherished memories to the ground. It's just shocking to see the damage. Uh, it looks like it's been bombed. Jim Stedman rushed home to Girard from a weekend away when he got word of the fire. His family is deeply rooted in the First Presbyterian Church. My great great grandfather was one of the founders of this church, um, James Blair. Five generations of our family were members here. Our kids were all baptized here. Um, I was baptized here. And um, our roots go pretty deep here. Stedman says, as for the future of the First Presbyterian Church of Girard, well, they were a solid, strong church, and they will they will rebuild. I have no doubt. Demolition crews were on site, taking down any walls left standing that could have been a danger to the public. We're told that by noon on Sunday, a half a million gallons of water was used to put out this fire. In the meantime, Cambridge Springs firefighters were called to an apartment building for a second time. Fire crews extinguished a small fire in an unoccupied second floor apartment at 103 Wall Street. This building was also the scene of a fire earlier this month, July 2nd. While the apartment was not occupied, the one above it was. That apartment sustained smoke and water damage, so three residents had to be relocated with the aid of the Red Cross. Due to the circumstances of this fire, state police fire marshal was called in to determine a cause. And two people were transported to the hospital after a, after a pickup truck rollover on I-90. The crash happening about 1 in the afternoon Sunday on Interstate 90 at mile marker 3. Police say a pickup truck rolled over onto the median for an unknown reason. The two occupants of the truck were taken to an Erie hospital for treatment. A single vehicle crash leaves police looking for a driver. The accident happened on Route 18 at Wiseman Road, south of Conyotville, about 5.30 Sunday morning. Firefighters arrived to find a car off the roadway with major damage, but no driver in sight. It appears that the car rolled over at least once. State police are investigating the circumstances surrounding this suspicious crash. Now, my favorite time in the morning, we are turning to some good news. A little rain shower didn't dampen the spirits of thousands of folks in town for the annual Roar on the Shore. There were several rides planned for the region, but at the hub at Perry Square, Jason Britton and his No Limit stunt show was wowing the crowd over the weekend, and that was just the start, with some big bands taking the stage in Perry Square. And we still don't have those final numbers just yet, but during Bike Fest and Roar, Erie's population nearly triples. Quite a lot of people there. Dozens of rowers turned out for the first ever oars on the shore. Poker Run, clever name there. Participants in canoes, kayaks, and paddle boats made their way around Edinburgh Lake, stopping at a number of stops along the way. And the whole goal of this was to collect playing cards. At the end, the boats holding the best poker hands wins prizes donated by local businesses. We anticipate it being an annual event from here on out. As I said, Millennium Sound is great with us. They help us with fundraisers, which helps support families in our community that are struggling and in need of some help and resources and support. So we are greatly appreciative for that. The event raised funds for Borough Women and Family Services, which is funded by donations from Edinburgh area businesses, fundraisers, and some individuals. A Green Township playground project made major progress. Despite a little rain, dozens of volunteers showed up to help with construction of this massive playground, surely to be a huge community asset. In addition to numerous residents, several contractors and businesses sent some help and heavy equipment to assist. Even the U.S. Navy sent some sailors to pitch in. And here at Fox, we sent you our very own Dan Rupp. Check out our meteorologist trying his hand at some carpentry. We've had a lot of volunteers come on out from the community. Uh, we've also had uh, different contractors bring in crews. We had you know, the Navy donate some uh, people to come on out. Uh, we've also had uh, we, some people from Home Depot and Sheets. We've had people from uh, a lot of different areas and different companies come on out. The Parks and Recreation Committee hopes to have the ADA Accessible Playground open in time for the National Night Out. It's coming right up on August 7th. 
The Erie Police Department is kicking off this year's Police Athletic League Summer Camp. And this week, the week, this year, the week-long summer camp is expanding to include more children and staff. 140 kids will be participating. That's up from just 60 last year. Partners from multiple law enforcement agencies as well as Gannon University will offer sporting activities and life coaching. The camp runs through Friday. Time now is 8.39 and it's time to hit the road. Coming up on Good Day Erie, it's the perfect time of year to see the region from atop a bicycle. But if you're not prepared, that day of fun can quickly become a headache. We'll explain when we come back. This is Fox 66 News Good Day Erie. The Tri-State's pre-owned vehicle superstore is right here at Hume's Chrysler Jeep Dodge and Ram. We've got over 250 pre-owned cars, trucks, minivans, and sport utilities. All makes, all models, gas, and diesel. We'll have just the one you want, and with our immediate on-the-spot financing plan, we'll be able to tailor a payment plan to meet any budget. Many are certified and have the balance of the factory warranty. Come see us today. We're only nine miles south of Mill Creek Mall on Peach Street in Waterford. When compassion, strength, and guidance are needed most, it's a comfort to know that your family can rely on Duskus Taylor. Funeral service options available to meet your specific wishes and made affordable to every family's budget. All of this offered to you at our premier facility, nestled in a peaceful and park-like setting in beautiful Harbor Creek Township. Tradition, affordability, and a heritage of compassionate service. Duskus Taylor Funeral Home and Cremation Services. If you were going to design your perfect car, which three features would you choose? Safety with the kids. Fuel efficiency. Affordable price. My dream car would have all of these things. What if I told you that there was a car that did have everything? Serious? Okay. This is the Chevy Cruze. Go Chevy. Current qualified competitive lessees can get this Chevy Cruze for around $169 a month. Or get $1750 cash allowance on most Cruze models when you purchase. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Sports is brought to you by Superstore Joe at Off-Road Express. Sea-Doo introduces the newest ways to explore the water for an experience like no other. Adventure starts at just $53.99, and right now, get more great deals in store. Your Sea-Doo adventures start at Off-Road Express. Get out and play. Sea-Doo, escape the everyday. From your weather authority, here's meteorologist Tom DeVecchio. We have a little sunshine peeking through the clouds right now on our Skycam, the uh, HumesForCars.com Sky cam. Uh, we do have uh, some uh, partly cloudy skies right now in the region as we start out this Monday morning. And uh, not a lot of rain fell from last night, so uh, kind of dry uh, on the ground as you start out the day here. But that could change later on. Our uh, state college radar and our storm track are already showing some showers and some thunderstorms moving north northwest. Here you can see a clear westerly movement and uh, probably reaching the St. Mary's area in about an hour and getting into the Bradford region about an hour and a half or so and eventually going into Warren and Jamestown by late morning and going into our region here in Erie and Crawford counties uh, during the afternoon. So if you have anything to get done here in Erie, get it done before mid-afternoon because I think that's when the showers and storms reach here. Temperatures right now, upper 60s uh, to about 72 here in Erie, and the dew point's currently in the mid-60s, so we do have some mugginess in the air. And the future cast showing by early afternoon, we'll see the showers start to get into the Cory area, Spartansburg region, eventually moving toward the northwest through Erie during the afternoon. And the threat of more on and off showers and maybe some embedded heavier storms, not seen severe. Uh, the bigger threat will be just heavy downpours and maybe a little bit of localized flooding. And then, let's head toward tomorrow. Here comes round two. 
pretty much the same thing, a little different placement here and there, but the results will be for more scattered showers and some storms. So for today, partly cloudy for now, and then becoming mostly cloudy and humid. Scattered thunderstorms for the afternoon, highs reaching the lower to mid-80s. That threat will continue into the evening, then calming down later tonight. For tomorrow, partly to mostly cloudy, more scattered afternoon storms and highs in the lower 80s. From your weather authority, showers and storms uh, continue for Wednesday, then a chance of isolated showers Thursday into Friday. Oh, I hate the rain. And uh, <laughs> But you'll love this trivia question. No, hey, I won't. <laughs> Chuck Barris hosted this show in the 1970s. Was it the Hollywood Squares, Match Game, Password, or The Gong Show? Oh. Take, a, take a step. Okay, all right, all right. Um, match game. All were before your time. Uh, no, it's actually the Gong Show. The gong. Uh, a great show. Our floor director was giving me clues, but I didn't yes, get them. Yes, Gong Show, absolutely. <laughs> YouTube, some of them. They're some of the best game shows of all time. Okay, You'll I will. I'll You'll do that. Like. Now it's time to meet the cutest pet of the week, thanks to our friends at Country Fair. Michael sent us this picture of his dog, Mackenzie. Mackenzie likes to hide under the coffee table anytime they come into the room. And you can upload a picture of your pet on our website, of course. Just head over to YourEerie.com. You'll find the link on our contest page. Now to some business news. A massive recall is affecting 16 varieties of Ritz crackers and Ritz bits because they may contain salmonella. The Hanover New Jersey company says the crackers contain whey powder, which they believe could be contaminated. So far, no one has gotten sick. The chairman of Fiat Chrysler says the condition of longtime CEO has worsened. John Acan told employees Sergio Marchione won't return to the company following recent surgery on his shoulder. Marchione has been CEO since 2004 and guided the company through its merger with Chrysler. Elon Musk has settled an issue over a unicorn with gas. In February, he tweeted a photo showing the mug of the creature powering an electric vehicle and later used it to promote Tesla without the artist's permission. However, this weekend, Musk said the issue was taken care of. Mm. And finally, after more than five decades, one of the country's most famous Fish Markets has a new owner. Pike Place Market, which has become one of Seattle's most iconic landmarks, was recently purchased by four longtime employees. It has been serving customers for the past 90 years. Pretty cool. And whether it's gas savings or health benefits, millions ride their bike to work each day, but a flat tire or a broken chain could be a real problem for you. Dave Mamondo is helping you keep your two wheels rolling in today's Angie's List report. Whether you use it to make your way to work or, well, you just enjoy a leisurely ride, your bike needs regular maintenance to keep it on the road. If you invest in a nice bike, you want to also maintain it. You should think about it like your car. You do regular oil changes and rotate the tires on your car. Think about that same kind of process for your bike so it's ready to roll whenever you are. Before each ride, do a quick check of your bike's key components. Check uh, your air pressure, check your brakes, uh, and check your chain to make sure it's on, um, you know, to make sure everything is functional uh, and, and in proper working order. Even when everything checks out, anything can happen out on the road, so be prepared, especially for the inevitable flat tire. We highly recommend uh, carrying what we call a, a, what we call an essentials kit. It's a seat bag, it's got a tire lever in it, it's got a patch kit in it. Uh, you can either carry a frame pump on your bike or some CO2 cartridges uh, for air pressure and then the appropriate tube that fits into your tire. Just like a car needs an oil change, your bike chain needs regular lubrication, generally every couple hundred miles. A drop of lube on each link helps. You know, before you apply new lube, it's always best if you can degrease the chain a little bit or wipe it down uh, to clean it off. It's, it doesn't do you a lot of good to lubricate a dirty chain. In addition to a new chain about every 2,000 miles, Angie suggests an annual tune-up, especially if your bike sat in a corner all winter. It'll cost about 60 bucks and will address any problems before they occur. David Belmondo, Fox 66 News. It's 848, current temperature 72. Also coming up on Good Day Erie, we're off to the links where Tiger Woods is making a comeback. Mike Fenner has all the highlights next in sports.
Don't miss our biggest tire sale of the year. It's Flynn's annual tent sale, now through July 31st. We've slashed prices on nearly every tire in stock. And when you buy three select Yokohama tires, you'll get the fourth tire free. So go to Flynn's Tire and Auto Service. And tell them Finney sent you. So, like, so get in yeah. there. Oh, the yeah, sure. Because, you know what? It's all about energy. You're so right. Yeah. It's like, it's so true. You know yeah. what I mean? You gotta. The moment you realize a good backyard party requires a good backyard. At Lowe's, we have everything you need to create the outdoor space you've always wanted. All projects have a starting point. Start with Lowe's. Shop Lowe's and get three bags of state green garden soil for just $9. Don't miss our biggest tire sale of the year. It's Flynn's annual tent sale, now through July 31st. We've slashed prices on nearly every tire in stock. And when you buy three select Yokohama tires, you'll get the fourth tire free. So go to Flynn's Tire and Auto Service. And tell them Finney sent you. Weather is brought to you by Superstore Joe at Auto Express Kia. We used to drive a Chrysler, now we drive a Kia. You can change too. Lease an all-wheel drive Kia Sorento for only $279 a month with zero down at Auto Express Superstore. I want to see ya in a Kia. I used to own a Mitsubishi. Now I own a Kia. You can change too. Lease a new Kia Forte for only $139 a month with zero down at Auto Express Superstore. I want to see ya in a Kia. And now, Mike Finner with sports. Welcome on in. It's time for morning sports and yesterday's EDWGA match play championship. Stephanie Urban defeating Megan Moylan 3 and 2 for her second championship in match play history. First since 2009. The Erie Seawolves fall on a doubleheader in Bowie 7 to 1 and 4 to 3. They're back home tonight. But let's get into the golf and the final round of the 147th Open Championship. Tiger Woods four strokes off the lead entering the day as he chases his first major since 2008. Par 5 14 for Woods gets the birdie to go on the long putt to sink. Finish Tied for sixth place at five under his first top ten finish in a major since 2013. Defending champ Jordan Spieth entering Sunday tied for the lead at nine under. Double bogey on the hole there on the par five sixth. Finished the final round five over for a final score of four under. How about Francesco Molinari? The strong day and the strong finish. Lead with a birdie opportunity on the par four 18th. Gets it to fall to move into the outright lead at eight under. Molinari hangs on to become the first Italian to win a major championship as he takes home the 147th Open Trophy. And let's continue on to some Major League Baseball as we get to the highlights here. And let's start with the Pirates and the Reds. Pirates one game over 500 entering yesterday, looking for another win against the Reds in Cincinnati. No score in the first. Gregory Polanco homers to make it one nothing. Then in the second, Buckos leading three nothing. Corey Dickerson hits the two-run offering, five nothing. Black and gold. Same inning. Starling Marte going to come up to the plate and do what he does. Solo shot as well. Six nothing lead, and the Pirates go on to get the win, nine to two. Your final there. Indians going for the three-game sweep of the Texas Rangers yesterday on the road. Rugnet Odor for the Rangers two on. On the third lines, a single to right field to score Delino to Shields for the game's first run. And then Odor with the sack fly RBI in the fifth makes it 2 nothing. Indians on the bad end of this one. They fall 5 nothing in the shutout loss. Red Sox and Tigers began in a rain delay yesterday. 2.45, the new start. And how about the Sox with a 3 nothing lead in the fourth? Jackie Bradley Jr. cracks his seventh homer of the year. The three-run shot putting this one away. Tigers fall 9-1, to one, your final. NASCAR Cup, New Hampshire race. More than three hours in a rain delay there as well. But here they come. Final lap, and there they go. Kevin Harvick, the uncontested winner. His sixth win of the season. Kyle Busch coming in second at New Hampshire. And for our Off-Road Express Team of the Week, how about the pressure squarely on their shoulders, but this team answering the call when needed. 
Despite giving up the first score in the game, off a turnover no less, it was just enough offense coupled with great defensive play out of the county all-stars in the 2018 Save and I football game. Our defensive backs wanted to tackle, and they tackled excellent in space. If it wasn't for Hunter and Shear making a couple plays in space, we would have been a whole different story. Between creating turnovers and playing a bend but don't break style when it mattered most, the county broke a three-game losing streak in the series for win number 18 in 2018. That was huge. That's what we needed for us to get down there. And then, listen, after that, we just connected. I think it was just, we all just attacked. We just never stopped. Congrats to the Save and I County All-Stars, our Off-Road Express Team of the Week. Team of the Week is brought to you by Superstore Joe at Off-Road Express. Nominate your team on the contest page at yourerie.com. Get out and play. The Seawolves are back home for the start of a seven-game homestand. They take on Richmond tonight at 7.05. It's Buck Night at UPMC Park, and it's also football season right around the corner. Training camp opening up for the Cleveland Browns and Pittsburgh Steelers later on this week. But for now, that's it for Morning Sports. Back to you. Up next, we'll take a final look at your forecast and your morning headlines. Stay with us. At Cleveland Clinic, we're focused on the future of our patients today. With innovative cancer treatment options and life-saving clinical trials, it's what makes us one of the nation's best in cancer care. Cleveland Clinic provided me with the tools and the people I needed to save my life. When you choose Cleveland Clinic, you'll have a personalized care plan from a team specialized in treating all types of cancer, even the most rare and complex. I felt that I was in the best place. I had my oncologist, a surgeon, and then I had a radiation oncologist. They explained every step of the way. They really helped me to overcome the diagnosis of cancer. If you or a loved one have been diagnosed with cancer or need a second opinion, call Cleveland Clinic, 844-839-2278. I want to be somewhere where I have a doctor who has the experience and the resources to find something else that might help me. Cleveland Clinic. Every life deserves world-class care. On the next Big Bang Theory. Oh, hi. 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 The guys have a new neighbor. Our babies will be smart and beautiful. Not to mention imaginary. And it's love at first sight. That woman in there is not going to have sex with her. I'm not trying to have sex with her. Oh, good. Then you won't be disappointed. I'm a male and she's a female. Yes, but not of the same species. Next, Big Bang. Tonight at 7 on Fox 66. From your weather authority, here's meteorologist Tom DeVecchio. Check things out on our SkyCam. This is the Jamestown Mattress SkyCam uh, at the airport uh, looking at uh, some high clouds that are moving into the region for the day. And uh, I think the early sunshine is going to gradually be hidden more and more by those clouds. And uh, eventually we'll see some rain showers come in. Storm tracker showing uh, the showers and storms coming out of the State College, headed towards St. Mary's this morning, eventually to Bradford. And then uh, later on this morning, Warren and perhaps Jamestown, and by the afternoon, we'll probably see them hit the area Edinburgh and Meadville uh, with at least uh, a line or two of some of those uh, areas of precipitation. Still, the temperature's moving up 75 here in Erie. Inland spots starting to get close to that 70 degree mark with dew points into the the upper 60s so we do have the moisture and we're just waiting for the trigger to come in later on in the day future cast showing uh, the trigger and those showers and storms moving across Erie during the mid-afternoon hours and a few areas could still get hit again through the evening they will be scattered severe not expected to be around but uh, some of the rain some of the rain showers could be on the heavy side with these storms and then Tuesday here comes round two pretty much the same regime as that upper level low stays toward the west and will continue to influence us even into Wednesday the front finally going through later on in the day and that'll lead to smaller chances of rain for the end of the week but unsettled for today humid uh, becoming mostly cloudy some scattered mainly afternoon showers and storms some with some pretty good downpours highs mainly in the lower to mid 80s threat of more showers and storms at times in spots in the evening diminishing later on tonight for tomorrow, mostly cloudy overall. Some mainly afternoon showers and storms once again. Highs in the lower 80s. From your weather authority, showers and thunderstorms at times on Wednesday, particularly in the morning and midday. 
And that will lead to just a chance of some isolated showers for Thursday into Friday along with somewhat cooler temperatures. Get the latest updates of that forecast anytime. Just head to our website, yourerie.com. Thanks, Tom. And here's a last look at your local headlines. A 57-year-old man is dead following a motorcycle crash in Warren County. Pennsylvania State Police and Corey say it happened on Route 6 just west of Route 958 around 3 o'clock Sunday afternoon. Police say a motorcycle was eastbound when the motorcycle collided with a westbound motorhome. And a crash involving a pedestrian on a bicycle in Mill Creek Township has police looking for answers. It happened around 11 o'clock at night last night at the intersection of West 8th Street and Peninsula Drive. The investigation into the cause of a destructive fire still underway. The Sunday morning fire destroyed the first Presbyterian church in Girard at the corner of Main and Church Streets. And finally this morning, an Arizona couple's wedding photos are going viral, but it's for a different reason. Valentin was, like any typical guy on his wedding day, nervous. nervous. So his soon-to-be wife Heidi, his high school sweetheart, asked her brother Eric for the ultimate wedding favor. Eric put a wedding dress on to help break the ice and surprise Valentin. <laughs> when it came time for the big reveal, it was definitely not the blonde he was expecting. The post has thousands of shares, tens of thousands of likes. Ha, look at them there. And more than one million interactions. Very nice. Very cute. Looking great, guys. Love the dress on you. Uh, that's it for Good Day Erie on this Monday. You can always go to your Erie.com to see our top stories. Until then, have a great day. Thank you for joining us.